Hey guys, welcome back to your favorite two week old news outlet that takes place in a high school. The Ithaca Voice. Lake Street News. We have no relation to Ithaca Voice and we should never ever use their articles, and we don't. Of course not. Today we have some great, amazing stories with another rabid fox, billing issues, the police chief, and some crime updates. Hope you all had a great spring break, and I hope we can make up for missing an episode last week. Blame Mr. Shine and not us. Anyways, Caroline woman Pamela Austin was going about a normal morning tending to her animals when she heard stomping from her barn. She investigated to find her horse in a panic, attacking an intruding crazy rabid fox. Her horse, Sambuca, had stomped the fox to death, which Austin found after going to find a weapon to get rid of the fox. Pamela recognized the fox as the same one that had terribly terrorized her chickens the year prior and is grateful to Sambuca for protecting her family. Honestly, they should start a religion based on that. Anyways, widespread billing issues at NYSEG and RG&E have raised concerns about, quote, administrative issues, end quote, at these utility companies for a group of New York State lawmakers. They released a letter arguing to Governor Kathy Hogel and Public Search Service Commission Ca Chair Roy Christian to deny allowing these companies to increase their rates. NYSEG and RG&E saw over 4,000 complaints related to late and incorrect in utility bills in 2022, leading to lawmakers to believe they should fix those issues before billing them more. So, when they charge someone a wrong amount of money, it's just a mistake and a slap on a risk. But when I overcharge money and steal from McDonald's, it's fraud, embezzlement, and I have to stay in prison for 15 years. Anyways, over spring break, IHS students William Shanton and Anya Packard left for Rochester to represent our school and state in the All Eastern Honor Band and Choir, respectively. The event had roughly 650 high school musicians coming from Connecticut, Delaware, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Vermont, Washington, D.C., and Europe to make up all the ensembles. This is a great accomplishment for all students involved. Make sure to congratulate them if you see them in the halls. IPD Chief John Jolie, no relation to Angelina, is taking an indefinite personal leave from his position to the head of the department. He will also battle the city of Ithaca in court on an allegation that the city subjected him to hostile work environments. Jolie said that he will, quote, be taking an extended leave to focus on maintaining his own personal wellness, end quote. In court, Jolie will be represented by A.J. Bozeman. Miller claimed that he was fired from the police department as a retaliation for filling out a complaint to the State Human Rights Division arguing that he had been discriminated against for being a white person. 41-year-old William Marshall has been sentenced to 20 years in prison for killing Alan Godfrey in 2021. Marshall had already pled guilty to first-degree manslaughter in February, meaning the two days of hearings were solely held to determine how long his incarceration would be. Judge Cassidy's decision concluded the tragic case that began with Marshall being charged in March 2022 with second-degree murder and weapons offenses for killing Godfrey. Marshall, however, invoked the extreme emotional disturbance defense, acknowledging that he killed because Godfrey had been tormenting Marshall's developmentally disabled younger brother for years, consistently demanding money from him under threat of physical harm. Not gonna lie, this was our least funny episode ever. Yeah, I felt like Owen wrote that one because of how boring it was. Anyways, have a good week and thank you all for watching Lake Street News. And happy Autism Acceptance Month, everybody. Anyway, Mr. Shine really sucks.